what's up good people how are you thank you very much thank you very much for subscribing my channels thank you very much you are most welcome so today uh, my name is Pauline Pauline Washuka and if you are new here please subscribe my youtube channel I'll be very grateful so welcome so today we are going to clean a shower we are going I'm going to demonstrate to you how to clean a shower uh, uh, and, and it's very nice to know how to clean a shower properly at home or wherever you are. You are most welcome. So I have my equipment here. I have my gloves here. It's very good to use gloves when you are cleaning a shower because it has plenty of germs. So I begin by clean, by wearing my gloves. So the gloves have to be fitting you, not very tight and not very, very big for your hand. I like green. Green color, I love green. So I'm ready. So I have my equipment here. I have my soap. It's also green in color. I have my disinfectant, which is blue in color. Okay, the, this, this disinfectant, these, these two detergents, they are homemade. So like this, this disinfectant is homemade. Yeah, someone has a, has has um makes for me, and then uh, then we use in the house. But it is homemade. But you can use any disinfectant you prefer. You can you can go to the in the supermarket and you can use the disinfectant you you can use the the one you prefer. There is happy in the in the supermarket, so you can whatever you prefer you can use. So mine is uh, homemade and it's cheaper to make it at home. So usually the ingredients we buy from River Road and then, then we make. Okay, one day I will show you how to make that, um, the disinfectant, the homemade. Okay, then I have my soap. This soap I have shown you. This one is also homemade. So someone else has made for me and then we use it for, for the whole house, to clean the whole house. So, so it's very nice and and thick and thick and it's very I can say it's cheaper it's cheaper it's cheaper than than buying but so we, I prefer to use this one because it's much cheaper yes and then I have I have a, a cloth a dry one for drying my shower and then I have another one for shining the the walls in the shower then I have a brush, I have a hand brush for cleaning the floor. I, I will show you how I will use this one. Then I have a sponge. I have a sponge. It is here, here one side and move the other side, but both are the same. So you can use either, either side. So I, I have chosen to use a sponge instead of a scotch bright i have also another a scotch bright although i'm going to use it but uh, these ties here are very they 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 are they are easier to use you uh, it's very easy to use uh, instead of using the scotch bright the best is to use the the sponge because the sponge is um, the sponge is very is, is softer for these tiles for this type of tiles so so it's very good it's better to use the sponge than a scotch white because the scotch white is harsh. It's harsh for the for the showers. I mean for the walls, for the walls of this shower. Hope you can see clear. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the soap. I ha I'm going to use this soap. So I will put a bit. Let me bring this nearer so that you can see. Yeah, that is better. So I use my my yellow side. Then I put a bit of soap. You can either put the soap in the water or a bit on the sponge. Then I get a bit of water from my. I have warm water, but then I didn't tell you it's very good to use warm water in cleaning my in cleaning the shower. 
So this is my soapy warm water. There it is. Because the, the shower has plenty of jam, so it's very good to use warm water. Yes, instead of cold, the, the cold doesn't remove the germs. So now I start scrubbing from, from up, from, from the farthest corner of the shower, going down. Okay, this was a bit wide, so I'm going to divide my, my wall into two. So I scrub from the top, this way. So you start from the top going down, not zigzag, <laughs> not dancing all over in the, in the shower, but at least to have a system, a bit of order when you are, when you are cleaning the, the shower. So this movement is good enough, from top going down, then also taking care of the tabs, clean the tabs, even the corners of the tub, there is a lot of dirt that hides here. It, between the wall, the wall and the top, so it's good to pay attention to clean very nicely. Then I come to this other side. We came from the top going down using a circular motion so that every corner is touched. Every corner is cleaned. Then it's good also to remember to clean the, the soap holder. The soap, the soap holder sometimes is very that is full of soap, so it's good also to clean it, not to, not to leave it without cleaning. We go down, circular motion. Then after that, before I go to the next wall, it's very good to rinse, to rinse, to rinse out the soap, so that the, the soap doesn't get stuck on the, on the walls. And then, uh, no, not stuck, I mean, get dry on the wall. So it's very, it's good to, 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 to rinse before you go to the next wall. Because if it dries on the wall, it will be harder even to remove. It will be harder to, to rinse, no? I think so. <laughs> it will be harder to remove, to remove the soap. Yeah. So I have a small container here that I fetch the water for rinsing. Then you follow the same method, going from top to bottom. Removing all the soap. I go to the next wall, can be this side or this wall, and then I not add soap on the spot. It has a lot of soap. It has enough soap, so I don't need to add more. This is enough. So that also we don't waste. So it's not good to waste soap because uh, of course these things are very, the, the detergents are very expensive. So in fact I put only once on the spot. So it can, it does the whole shower, uh, the three walls. So it's enough, the soap that I have here is enough. And then also so that you don't use a lot of time rinsing, rinsing down out all the soap. Okay. Now we come to the, this other wall, this side, again from the top. This, this 
scores are very high. So I'm, I'm doing up to where I can reach. And then once a week, I come with a, with a ladder and I clean from the top down. So now I'm going to do, and then also taking care of this part of the window. they are very beautiful and they are very easy to clean. So sometimes there are this, uh, a lot of dirt that hides in the middle of these lines or the lines in the, between the, each tile. So uh, once a week it's good to, to use something, you can use a scotch bright and use a scotch bright to remove the dirt in between this line. You go one line by one to remove the, the, the dirt on the line in between the tiles. But since I have done last week, today I'm just going to do to do the to do it. I mean I don't need to go to the lines. I I, I cleaned last week so there is no much dirt there. Then now I am going to rinse, to rinse the soap in this, you see my cloth. So I rinse the same way the circular motion, make sure every corner is, it is touched. It is touched and cleaned. The last one, like you see, I behind made the door. So we start again from top, up, top, going down on a circular motion. It's very exciting to clean. That is, it's a, it's like a spot. It's a, like a nice spot. Then after that I'm going to clean the door, also it's very good to clean the door as well, the same way as the walls. You clean from top going down, all the corners gently because this material, this um, painted area is very, is a bit delicate so it's good to go gently so that we don't damage the surface the material of the dog. Then I'm going to clean behind. Behind the dog. Then lastly, I'm going to leave, leave this side. a cloth to rinse instead of throwing the water. There is another system you can use, this one of throwing the water this way, but it, it, you waste a lot of water and water is expensive, especially in Nairobi. Water is very expensive, so it's nicer to use a cloth. You use less water, you waste less water.
I'm sorry behind the door you can't see me, but I'm doing the same method of this. You can see my floor. So I'm going to clean to scrub my floor. I'm going to scrub the floor with a brush. There is more dust than the wall. Then from there, I'm going to clean again the walls with the clean water, clean warm water. Because the first one was uh, quite soapy. Sunday. <laughs> yes. So I have rinsed my So now I'm going to rinse the floor. The floor again. 
my clean water. And lastly, I'm going to dry the I'm going to dry the floor. I'm going to dry the floor with my mop. There it is. There is a drainage here in the on the floor of the of the, of the shower. On the floor is very good to clean it well. My shower is shiny, very clean, smelling, sm smelling fresh. So, as you can see, our shower is very clean now, very nice and pretty. You can shower here with no problem. So, for now, we are going to reach there. Thank you very much for subscribing my channel. I'm very grateful. So if you are new here, please subscribe and thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you put the, you put it into practice at home, no? Yes, thank you.